What's up? This is Ray. Welcome back. Hey, today I got a special episode for you. We're going to be checking out a photography lighting system, um, but it's a little different. This lighting system, it's called a shooting tent or some people call it a light box. And the purpose of it, it allows you to do professional looking product photography, as you can see here. Um, the reason it's, it's uh, unique is that it allows you to have the product bathed in a soft, um, diffused light all around. Uh, and that's important if you're doing product photography, if you're running an e-commerce store like eBay or Amazon, you probably realize how difficult it is to get good, consistent photographs. Um, this was sent to me by a company called SD, E-S-D-D-I. And uh, when they told me they were sending it, I didn't really expect much, to be honest. But when I opened the box and saw how it was designed, how modular it is, and, um, it, and how useful it is in, to be able to shoot in different configurations, it made me realize it, it was probably designed by a photographer <laughs> but um if you're curious if this is something you think you could use stick around we're going to be checking out the 20 inch sd shooting tent so uh, stay tuned okay so let's look at the features and how it's put together uh, when i took it out of the box the first thing that i liked about it is that uh, even though it's a it's a cube shape it's all one piece so it's easy to uh, fold it together and build it into the cube shape and what makes it um, stick together is all the corners have this velcro running in a circular form around the edges so you just touch them together um, the lighting the heart of the system is the lighting on top it's um it's a square shaped led strip um, that is daylight balance at 5500 kv we'll talk more about that later um, and it is dimmable as you can see here yeah you can make it as as bright or dark as you need and why that's important is for example this soft box I'm using up here is a continuous light and it's not dimmable sometimes it's too bright sometimes it's not bright enough so uh, that's one thing that makes this um, uh, better because it, it can you can work it within the limitations of your camera um, the next thing that's important is as you can see the silver material it's on both sides uh, so because the light only comes down from the top the silver reflective material still allows the light to to reflect and come up underneath and get it from the sides. So if you're shooting something from the front like this, it's a good idea to keep one of these closed so that you'll still get a certain amount of reflection on the front of the object. Um, also, another important thing is on the top here, there's an opening where you can aim the camera straight down and shoot uh, overhead shots, and that's important as well. You know, I just realized I'm doing all this talking, but you came here to see images of what this thing is capable of. Uh, so if you're curious of what it can do, stick around. I'm going to show you a slideshow of some of the images I took with it right now. Next, I want to give you some hints about how to get the best results of the images you're going to get out of here. First thing, most important thing in my opinion, is make sure your white balance is set. Um, the light in here is daylight balanced at 5500 Kelvin. So you may be tempted to put your camera on auto white balance, but I don't recommend that because most cameras are, are calibrated differently. I know my camera is slightly calibrated to the blue or cool side of the spectrum. So I recommend if your camera is able to, uh, to manually adjust the Kelvin um, that way you can have accurate whites and accurate color uh, next thing that's important is keep in mind the light is shining down from above so if you put something very large in there it's gonna block a certain amount of the light from reaching the bottom I'm gonna show you an image of a globe that I put in here and the globe was so large that it blocked some of the light reaching the bottom and it cast shadows so it lost that effect that 3d effect uh, that you're looking for so keep in mind uh, that this is limited to a certain amount of size of a product to get the best results uh, last thing you want to keep in mind is of course the corners in the back you want to make sure as you as you focus on your item that the corners are not in the image you may have to get in closer or you may have to zoom if you have a zoom lens but uh, if the corners are in the image you lose that infinity 
uh, effect in the background. So those are some points that I learned uh, to get the best results using this kit. All right, so that's pretty much my lowdown on this SD shooting tent. I was, I have to say, I was very impressed with it. I really was expecting something simple and basic and kind of boring. But when I got it and took it out the box and saw the, the way it was designed and um, how well it was put together and thought out, um, I'm really impressed, uh, especially for the price. Um, it's about $65 on the SD Amazon store. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in getting one of these, I'm going to put a link to the uh, SD Amazon store below. And for more information on their products, check out ESDDI.com. Hey. Okay. Like I always say though, no matter what lighting gear you use to shoot your videos, until next time though, keep it real.